Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tim Howard again. This is my garage and this is my 75 gallon tank. I picked this up for $150 off Craigslist. You all know that that's a pretty good deal so I'm happy to have it in my garage. Never really thought I would use it as a show tank. It was just too good of a deal to pass up. So it's my first experience with a sump filtration and uh, kind of put it all back together, figured it all out. Um, had a little bit of a leak. I forgot to put one of these, I don't know, plastic seals in between the glass and the uh, the fittings that go on the top and the bottom of the tank inside and outside inside the tank and outside underneath the uh, in the cabinet so anyways, i forgot one seal uh i didn't why i already put water in it it's like a really slow leak maybe a drip every 10 seconds uh, in fact it's almost not even noticeable anymore i'm looking at my floor um, the stuff is pretty much dried up off the concrete floor. Plus it's in the garage, so if it's a small little leak, I'm not too worried about it. It is a little bit scratched up, which is probably, you know, from just being out in the weather a little bit, because the guy didn't have a garage, so he had it kind of underneath a carport kind of thing, so I don't know. But all I'm gonna do with it is uh, grow little fish and let them grow up to go into the show tank. So I uh, don't have much for, um, hardscape in here yet. I put a black background on it, um, put black sand in, and uh, I went right across the street from my house, which I live up in Northern California, and we have a little creek, it's called Adobe Creek, and I picked out all those rocks. We had a big rain here last weekend, and the creek was like five or six feet deep, and it usually is like a foot deep, so it was a raging rapid there for a day or two, but except for that one piece of uh, lava rock, that's, that's not obviously from my, uh, my creek next to my house, but pretty cool. Grabbed a five gallon bucket, filled it up with those rocks, and uh, even snagged a couple of flat ones so that maybe, you know, if I get, end up trying to set up some spawning, I can do it in here. 70 gallons is pretty big, and it'll give me plenty of room to have all the fish I want to grow out, and I'm very happy about that. So, there you go, that's what it is, and if uh, anyone wants to make any comments or suggestions in the, uh, the comments fields below, I'd love to get some suggestions about, you know, um, I typically have African cichlids, and that's kind of what I'd like to do, so any suggestions on if you were going to breed an African cichlid for the first time, what would you do? Um, I don't want to do something too exotic like a Tanganyikan cichlid or something like that, but you know, a typical, you know, popular Mbuna might be a good idea. I was thinking maybe like a Johanni, um, get a cup, you know, get a colony going and, and maybe breeding that because those are pretty cool fish. I figure the fish that I like or that people like. So. Uh, this is the first day the tank has been fully running for 24 hours now, uh, starting to settle down, and um, I kind of did all my water treatments and buffers today, so got some live bacteria. I don't know if I'm going to change the filter media or not. I'm just going to see how this goes for about a week, maybe grab some goldfish. Um, or some other feeder fish and toss them in here and get the nitrate cycle going real good before I even try to play around with Africans in here. I did just put my buffer in here to get it up to 8.2 but I have pretty hard water so it's not usually too hard uh, to keep the pH up but for other fish that might be too high. But anyways I'll give you a couple of close-ups of these rocks because these all look at that red rock came out of my <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That one got really porous. I don't know what that is. But just riverbed rocks, you know? Pretty cool. That guy is kind of gold, white, a little green. I don't know if you can tell that that's something that's growing. It's uh, something that came out of the water in the creek. So it's like a cobweb in the water. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe I'll need to clean that out. But 
Okay, well, that's my quick little video about this guy. Looking forward to having fun with this. Make your comments, suggestions down below about uh, anything that I could do with this, what I could maybe breed in here, or I know a lot of guys have a lot of tanks, so what does your number two tank do? Does your number two tank be your grow out, spawn, or just grow, just have a different type of fish in here for fun, I guess. Maybe make a tank and he can tank. I don't know. Okay, well, thank you. Have fun, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye.